What's up, where's your boy Iconic? Back again with another video. Yes, sir, we are back in the Iconic Studios, back with a double up video, man. Before we get started with this video, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the own feast, the sneaker blind, the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. Thank y'all for watching, man. Not gonna waste any more time. Let's get into it. Boom, we have it here, man. An uh, orange and white brick box, man. Something very, very, very unique, man. You see on there, on the lid, it does say off-white. So we got something that I would guess considered special. We know Virgil made this joint. Um, but me personally, I didn't like the shoe, but I gotta give y'all the review. Box label reads, Air Force One Mid SP. Colorway is white, clear, white, blanc, blanc, clear. And it is a size eight. Shout out to OG Johnny for allowing me to do this review. Go ahead and show y'all the box label. Anybody that needs to see it for any legit check purposes, but that is the box label right there. So, boom, going a little bit close. Back up, boom, right there. Hopefully y'all can see it. Yeah, but anyway, flip the lid. Underneath the lid, there is off-white, signature off-white right there with the Nike swoosh. There is a quality control sticker right here in the back. Don't know if y'all can see it, but it is a quality control sticker right in there underneath the lid. Um, as far as the paper itself, it is blue and have the traditional off-white writing as you got with a lot of the older, uh, like special project off-white shoes, you know, the actual like, not blazers, but some of the older stuff with all the track stuff that they did. But this one says off-white 2022 um, and it has blue paper instead of like your golden and black paper. I'm gonna flip this up. I don't know y'all. I don't know about this Virgil. I don't know. Rest in peace to the GOAT. You know what I mean? Uh, Nike, I don't know. I don't know. Boom, we have it here, man. The Nike Air Force One mid off-white um, in the white colorway. There's a white pair and a black pair. And just from my first, my first reactions, right? I saw it yesterday, kind of didn't, um, really wasn't digging it, right? I saw it for a little quick, quick glimpse but didn't really like detail-y, detail, get a, I didn't really get a detailed look at it. I saw them yesterday, but didn't get a detailed look. But um, as far as this, um, of course, I'm just not a fan of the extras, right? So maybe if they took off like the spikes, the different things, the little extras, I think that would have made me like it, like it a little better. I still wouldn't love the shoe, but I think just having this on it kind of like just throws it all off of me. Of course, I know plenty of people are gonna actually cut cut this off and still wear this shoe as an Air Force One. But personally, again, it just isn't my speed. But just to give a quick review, to give a review, the bottom right here, it's mostly like a gray sole, um, but again, you have like the track spikes in green right here, track spikes up here in green as well. Then around like the uh, the sole, around the toe box, toe box area of the sole, it is like a purple and pink uh, track hit all the way around it and also on this side area that's on the midsole um you get to the midsole it's mostly white all the way around with white stitching and then you got that big hit of track track spikes right there again i don't know why that was something that was included into it but hey virgil did it cool whatever boom another big touch on it that i thought was kind of like weird but not bad is that you actually see the exposed air unit in the air force one i have never seen an exposed air force one maybe I'm just trying to think. Maybe in some collaboration. I think the Air Jordan 3 Air Force One had a, a zoom unit. I think it showed the unit in it. Possibly, don't quote me on that. But I think this is my first time seeing it in the Air Force One where you have the exposed unit. So that's not a bad touch to it. It's okay, I don't dislike it, it's okay. Um, you get to the upper, now the upper is, what is this material? It's a nice material, I can't really explain it. It's some type of cloth material on the top with a lot of different like designs all the way around. So that's a nice little touch to the shoe. As far as like quality, I would say the quality is there, if that makes any sense. Quality is there. You do have your signature uh, swoosh. You have a clear swoosh that's like uh, stitched to the actual cloth. So it's not, it's not really like uh, imprinted into the actual material. It is like sewed on. So that's a nice little touch as well. Got your signature orange off-white right there. Inside you have your off-white beaver tin, you know, you know, same old, same old right there on the um, inner side of the sneaker. Um, you get to the upper where the laces are, right? So they kind of gave it like that off-white dunk feel 
where they gave it the regular laces going up and then your extra laces on the outside. Again, not really a big fan of that as well. Probably would have been better with just the gray laces wrapped around it. And again, on those eyelid areas, those are kind of like stitched in and have like little loops for you to put through as well. Of course, some people are gonna wear it with it. Some people are gonna wear it without it. Another confusing thing about it, it has a lace lock. Why they gave it a lace lock, I do not know, but it is a blue lace lock with a hit of green right there. And um, it comes with the straps. Strap, understandable, it's a mid, that's where it goes from. You do have like a, um, like that muslin feel. It kind of feel like that muslin feel like they did on the Off-White uh, Air Jordan 5s. Um, that's kind of that muslin feel around the strap, same thing on this area. And I would kind of say this kind of gives it a muslin feel as well too, but it's like, it has like little soft quilted areas on the, on the muslin area as well. So very, very nice touch. Again, detail wise, like the shoe. I like the details. I love the little things that uh, Virgil did with this. You got air on the tongue with a swoosh right there on top in gray. As far as any paper or shoe inserts, has this right here. Put that to the side. Let's see if I can bring out the insole. I can bring out the insole, y'all. Insole is white, has zero, zero, zero. Has the hand right there at the bottom. Hopefully that's focusing up. And then on the inside, it is like white stitching. Hopefully y'all can see inside there. It's white stitching, a nice little blue stamp in there, maybe a lock number that's on the shoe, and there's some red writing as well in there. I don't know if you're gonna be see, be able to see all the way in there, but that is what's going on with the shoe. Uh, left shoe, same exact thing, but you just have the orange zip tie, dope touch, love the orange zip tie. We haven't seen. Have we seen an orange one yet? I haven't seen an orange one. We've seen a red, a black, yellow, green. It's the first time I think seeing an orange uh, zip tie. So that's a dope touch. Again, same exact thing on this shoe. Nothing different at all. Um, it doesn't come with any extra laces, y'all. It does, again, it does, again, it does not come with any extra laces. Uh, as far as like the fat, the last, the last little details, man, again, the paper itself, it does say off-white. I know it's kind of bright, push it this way. It does say off-white, and it has the, the face off-white, the swoosh right in the middle in white. And on the inside of the box, it does say this side up. And that's pretty much it, man. This shoe, huh, let me say something, right? I personally don't need the shoe, but I respect the shoe. I respect the creativity, I respect the, the time and creativity that was put into it. Nice shoe. It's a nice shoe, I personally don't like it. More of a trophy piece for anybody if they don't have any uh, any Virgil sneakers, any off-white sneakers, any off-white Nike collaborations. This definitely is one of those shoes you could put up in the case. I would like, to, I like seeing this as a, a, a piece up on the wall or in the case. I personally do not I wouldn't want to wear this personally, but that's about it, man. I'm not going to hold a video up any longer, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the, I'm about to say Air Jordan, the Nike uh, Air Force One mid off-white in the white colorway. Let me know what y'all think about the shoe. Let me know what y'all think about the video, man. Is it hot? Is it not? Did you cop? Did you pay resale? I suggest to not pay resale. Don't pay resale. Don't pay resale. Don't pay resale, Don't pay resale unless you really, 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 really want these. But that is it, man. Before y'all go, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you stay in tune with the reviews, the on feast, the sneaker vlog, the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. I thank y'all for watching, man. The future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all. Peace.